Hey everyone, welcome to a guide for the Dream Breaker, the new Moon Fusion Rifle that you can now craft and unlock for your collections badge. Each week, the three available nightmare hunts found on the moon rotate, offering different bosses to fight and different essence quests. Each nightmare hunt has a specific name which corresponds to a specific quest for either a piece of Dream Bane armor or one of the moon weapons. And this week, we've got a slightly different roster of nightmare hunts, the Nightmare Hunt Anguish, which drops the legs, Nightmare Hunt Pride, which drops the Dream Bane Helmet, and the Nightmare Hunt Servitude, which can drop the Essence of Servitude quest for the Fusion Rifle. Every completion of a Nightmare Hunt has a chance to drop the quest. I don't know if playing on a higher difficulty actually increases the chances of it dropping, but the drop rate is pretty generous, so you shouldn't have a problem getting it. Like with all the Nightmare Hunts, you can farm it as much as you want to grind for better rolls, and remember once you obtain the quest, it's going to show up at your Lectern of Enchantment on that character, so you can pick it up again if you have a Phantasmal Core. The Essence of Servitude quest requires you to kill 100 Vex and get 15 Fusion Rifle kills, which is pretty easily done. And lastly, collect the Arath Ur's Horned Wreath. Not to be confused with the Horned Wreath required for the Sniper Rifle. Nope, this is located in a completely different area. So I'm going to show you how to get there and which enemy it drops from right now. For some reason, both the Essence quests and the items you need to collect for them are only per character. So if you plan on unlocking all the weapons and armor at the lectern on other characters, you'll need to pick up these items like the Horned Wreath again. That's why I've got a playlist of every single item location for the Essence quests in the description, so please feel free to save that and share it to someone else who could use it. It's going to help me out a bunch. The rest of the video is going to be the path to get to the Urathers Horned Wreath, so thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.